All right, welcome guys. We're here at GTC4 at the lovely Queenscliff Swan Island Golf Club. We're hitting today off the 10th. We had a bit of a situation as you'll probably hear about. Uh, we've got a charity golf day going off before us. We've got seven of us playing today. Myself, Craig and Hondo in one group and the, the boys are teed off in the first group with Dean, Jack, Steve and, and Kyle. Um, quite a quick couple of uh, facts about Swan Island. It's situated on the Ballerine Peninsula. Uh, Interestingly, the only way in and in and out is over a, uh, a bridge, which is guarded by security. Uh, and then the reason for that is obviously the course shares the land with the Australian Defence Force. So high security, no one can come watch us today, unfortunately, but be sure to check out the rest of the video. Nice part. Oh. 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 That is marvellous. So we're here on the 11th at uh, Swan Island, one of the signature holes of the golf course here. You uh, you play along the bay. Looks uh, it's a fantastic view up the left side of the fairway. Uh, quick tip would be don't play your uh, Drives too far to the left. Definitely taking the taking the music. Lovely. That's pro golf right there. There's a bird pop from. Yep, just as he said. Uh, yeah, the no, motions are well. I don't know. I've, I've struck the ball well off the tee. It just hasn't worked for me at all. Narrow fairways, really not, not to do. Not a good thing for me. Um, I had a nightmare putt on, what are we up to, 13? On the 11, I think, oh, I'm up to 14. It's been an interesting day. How do you feel your rounds going so far, Hondo? Well, you definitely got it over, but I reckon it's only halfway there. A little bit about the golf course. We haven't uh, said too much about it yet. So we played off the back, uh, the back nine, of course. Uh, it's a link like links like a golf course here at at Queenscliff, and it's it, it's bunkering is similar to what you'd see on our our sandbelt courses down here in in Melbourne. I think it's a uh, a course where if you play a bit safer and maybe take some irons off the tee, you can really score well. Um, brings a bit of danger if you hit driver, just especially with some narrow fairways. Definitely pays to uh, pick your shots carefully on this one. Very interesting here at 
at Queenscliff. I don't know if the boys have mentioned it in the first group, but you get a lot of runoff fairways. Fairways are very dry here. Um, you get a bit of run, so your ball sort of skids along. And the uh, you really got to take the wind into account. The wind, uh, wind will play a bit of havoc with your ball, especially if you put it up there. on the fourth which we played the back nine first uh, so technically we've got five and a half holes to play just hit my approach up onto the green um, to be honest I don't know what to make of this course it's very 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 dry that's the first thing that I've taken in the greens the greens are pretty good like greens are in pretty good condition there's definitely some work that can be done to make it you know an elite peninsula course but it's certainly good enough for $55 max on a weekend and public holidays. Definitely worth the price of admission. Obviously far cheaper than some of the real legitimate courses down here that you'll see, you know, 13th Beach, Kerr Lewis, Lonsdale Lynx and the like. I don't know, like there's definitely parts of it that is linksy, but I, I wouldn't necessarily call it a Lynx course. There's certainly been a couple of times where I felt like I, I wanted to play a Lynx style shot that was probably because I was more so forced to rather than it was just the fact, the way the course undulated. Um, certainly getting feedback from the fellas, uh, there's certainly a few disappointed faces, or, but I think overall there's definitely value for money. Fairways, fairways are really dry. So obviously on a day like today, they'll run nonstop, which has helped probably our golf game and some of our higher handicappers. Probably... I would I would say it's not a difficult course, but it's not one of the you know easy ones that you'll get down here. There'll be plenty of public golf courses down here. It'll be far easier than this. So it's probably middle of the range as the wind kicks up again. Um, would I come back? Yeah, I would. I, I'd also more come back just to see what condition it's going to be in, whether this is the norm or we've just picked you know a really dry day. So we're through 13. We'll check in with our leader, the brightest man on course. How do you feel you're playing today? Playing unbelievably well. Um, I was a little bit disappointed because <clears throat> Tiger wears Sunday on, on uh, Sun Tiger wears Sunday, it's a good start. It's Sunday red, there's a quick plug for your, for your brand Tiger, call me later, a couple of caps. Uh, Tiger wears red on Sundays, my man David Michaluzzi wears pink on Sundays when he collects trophies and whatnot. I wanted my recognised, game recognised game to be I wear orange on, on Sundays because I am well and truly regarded as the uh, traffic cone on, on the GTC tour, but was told uh, blue shirts are quite on Sundays. So this had to get a go. This had to get a go as Craig's just sunk a 20 footer for- It's a second uh, hole in row two. He did it on the par three. Fantastic putt that didn't get caught on camera because you're filming me of all people. Um, yeah, I know. So yeah, I need to make sure this gets a, gets a go. We've already got pre-planned uniforms for Saturday and Sunday. So it had to be, Friday orange and I'm playing damn well in it too.
Yeah, this of course, uh, not too hard. Like I think it's something that everyone would probably come out and play. Nice and open, but you don't have all the sort of wind that you do on the ocean. So it's a bit more, a bit more friendly. But um, yeah, no, it's nice, nice course. Um, come out. And, yeah, there's no no one around, not much around. So it's pretty pretty quiet. Um, yeah, great course. Come out. Let's see what the three remaining fellas do. First up on the tee box, Alex Hondo. He's had a stinker of a day. Get in the bunker! Yeah. There's one down. Could be an absolute clean sweep for S Chalmers here on day one of GTC4. He's got two bullets to dodge to complete the sweep. Day winner, longest drive winner, nearest to pin winner. Next up, C Freeman. Oh. Get in the bunker! Yeah. This bullet's been dodged as well, and he's in the front bunker. And one, one bullet to dodge, and it is the all-conquering fan favourite of the tour. He's wearing his charcoal today. I'm surprised it wasn't red. He's probably going to be the number one merchandise purchaser of Tiger's new brand. G Seraphim. A couple of waggles. And it's coming straight for me again. Get in the bunker! Yeah. Yeah. Clean sweep, baby. Where does this go on YouTube or something? Oh. 